This is a uh, devotional and it's uh, a meditation. And it's taken from uh, a devotional that I use often called Mockingbird. The world's deepest problem is not badness as opposed to goodness. It is sin, the incurable human tendency to put self first, to trust number one and no one else. When I crippled my children emotionally or when my parents crippled me, it was not done out of meanness or spite. It was done out of love, genuine, deeply felt, endlessly pondered human love, flawed, alas, by a self-regard so profound that none of us noticed it. The quote is from the Reverend Robert Capon's book, called the parables of grace. This may sound over the top regarding judgment about who we are, but on the other hand, from Genesis to Revelation, we see the human condition again and again as broken, fallen, mired in self-centeredness. Lent is a gift to us from Jesus to take a direct look into the darkness with fear and trembling, knowing we are not alone and never have been. And C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia in the book, The Magician's Nephew, Lewis tells the story of Polly and Diggory, two children who use magical rings to travel between worlds. Eventually, they end up in a world of complete darkness. As they sit in the dark, a voice begins to sing, and Lewis narrates the scene. There were no words, there was hardly even a tune, but it was beyond comparison the most beautiful thing Diggory had ever heard. It was so beautiful he could hardly bear it. The powerful voice belongs to Aslan, and it brings the land of Narnia to life. Aslan's singing causes the stars to appear in the sky and the sun to rise, revealing vibrant colors, valleys, and rivers. Lewis comments that such developments were exciting for the bystanders, that is, until you saw the singer himself, and then you forgot everything else. This Lent, Aslan, that is Jesus, carries us in the darkness, whether we are struggling with pain or suffering or lostness. And he carries us out of the darkness to be his beloved. He has been with us the entire time of our darkness. On your best day or your worst day, may the King of love, who calls you by name, open your eyes to amazing grace. Amen.